for it last year. Let's see what happens this Here year. Come. They're Look coming at this in. Peter DeSera push it on. Peter DeSera push it on. We're here with Peter Dezera, the uh, recently crowned uh, under-23 Canadian cyclocross champion for 2015. Congratulations, Peter. Tell me about uh, the race for you today. Uh, yeah, it was it was super exciting. It was uh, it was hard. It was much harder than I well, it's cyclocross. It wasn't really as hard as I thought it was going to be, but it was harder than I thought it was going to be. It's always hard. What am I saying? Um, but no, with it being uh, with it drying up today, uh, pre-riding yesterday, I was like, oh, this is going to be a bloodbath. And um, no, with it drying up, it got it got super tacky, and it made it made it a little bit harder to, to push power throughout. So I noticed that in a couple of sections, just trying to bridge across of what should be just sort of coasty coasty grass was sort of sticky tacky mud, and it was uh, sucking some watts out of you. Um, but no, it was it was fun. We we went early. I was worried about my start. Uh, being second row and whatnot, I knew that this was going to be tight coming right into this beautiful section here. Um, so I knew I needed to get out front and uh, shout out to Trevor O'Donnell, a uh, local Barry boy, who pulled the whole shot off and I was able to snake in right behind him. And uh, we got in through here and I was second wheel through here and then just passed him going up through the uh, turning stuff behind us and just kind of stayed there. Didn't really pin it, didn't really do anything. I was just like, okay, I'm safe now, I'm out front. I'll just ride and we'll just let things sort out behind. Uh, I just didn't want to be the ones in the back, so I was like, okay, I'm safe, I'm done. I'll recover from that match and uh, take care of business later. And then, yeah, Danica and I just kind of rode and then we were all of a sudden alone and I was like, cool, let's just, just go with this. And before we knew it, we had, I don't even know, like a minute over everybody else. And uh, it wasn't really, it, it was it was kind of like okay I have second lock but I don't want second I want a jersey in 2015 so it was it was fun it was really hard it was really hard. Now tell me about the final sprint. Um, you guys were together the whole race. How did what was your thinking going into that sprint? Did you want to be first? Did you want to be second? <laughs> yeah, super interesting. Um, that last lap was really up in the air. Uh, he had <coughs> excuse me. He had, a, he had a very good acceleration all, all through the race, 180 degree turns, like turning out of that, accelerating through the sand pit. He was really good. He was really good at the run up as well. Um, so that was one of my main concerns was like, I need to get in front of him coming out of the run up. And I was able to snake him uh, just along the bridge section. I did a little bit of attack after we went down the dippy thing down by the river, which was all muddy. Um, and then the big bridge out and back, I just sort of rode, and he wasn't willing, he wasn't willing to come around because he kind of knew that was like, this is like how it was going to end up. So I was like, you know what? Screw it. He's got a good acceleration. I've got a good top end. When I get into a sprint and things get heated, I can normally hold my own. So I was like, even if I have to lead this thing, I'll lead it. And uh, I, I knew I needed to be ahead in the run-up because he was faster than me in the, the run-up, which was so flipping hard. Um, so yeah, I just came out of there, had a little bit of a gap, so I was like, you know what, I'm just going to pin it and make him work extra hard and come back on me if it hurts me a little bit. Uh, and then just going into the end, we were coming in through like the second pit, and I was just kind of rolling, just sort of like, okay, like, let's prepare, take a breath, here we go. And the moment I made the turn just out by the pit, I just floored it. He wasn't expecting it because it was still, I don't know, 600 meters from the finish. So I just floored it, we went over the big, uh, there was a big like mud hump in it, and I was like, just don't crash on that, we'll be fine held it came in and he was still a bike bike length bike and a half length behind me so i was like you know what like i'm safe he's not super in the draft this is also cross it's not like drafting is a huge thing uh so i just forward it it's just in the hoods just spinning hard as fast as i could and uh yeah it was it was good it was a little bit nerve-wracking at about 100 meters to go he came up kind of beside me and i was like no i want this more and just just went <laughs> now your brother uh, took the junior uh, title. Yeah. So, uh, what does that mean to you? That uh, you know, you you you're sharing this moment with your brother, both of you with successes. Yeah, it's interesting. Um, Q's Q's really good. He's he's definitely a little bit more of a finesse finesse rider than I am. I just kind of tend to break stuff. He doesn't tend to do that all that often. Uh, but no, like we feed off each other. He's got he's got a super cool collectness about him. Um, I kind of get I'm, I'm an extreme like extrovert, so I just like to put all my emotion and nervousness on other people. Um, meanwhile, he's more reserved and just kind of takes it on. And yeah, like like it's it's super good, and we're both super supportive for each other. We're rooming with each other this weekend, and uh, 
just keeping it keeping it real and we both just came out with with the mentalities of like this is for us we're not like we're not expecting to win but we're going to give everything we can to win because we want to so yeah it's good now do you have an exam to write after this <laughs> <laughs> so so i have a uh uh one of my uh profs kim levere uh who teaches uh statistics for engineers back at the university of guelph uh was super good i was supposed to have an exam yesterday at like 5 30 but obviously i was here for your writing so she put in an envelope and said you know what you're better than a varsity athlete you can just take it with you write it on your own time get like your manager to sign off on it whatever whatever i'm like Thanks, Kim. You're the best. So I have a statistics exam that I have to write either tonight or tomorrow. Um, and then when I get back, I have a material science exam. So yeah, engineering's tough, but I'm not the only one. In our Norco factory team, we've got Andrew West Bronze, who's an engineering graduate, um, and Evan McNeely, who's almost done. So we're uh, it's kind of interesting. We don't take any sympathy with each other when it comes to having exams stuff. They're like, yeah, well, you did that. Like, what are your, what's your problem, man? And I'm like, yeah. So you just deal with it. It's good. It's fun. Thank you very much. That was great. Thank you. Thank you.